Welcome to On The Brick With Soul Brick, the channel where we talk all things Lego. So your Lego collection is growing and now you need to figure out how to sort things out. I've been collecting Lego for over 20 years and boy do I have some advice. Sorting Lego can be done in various ways depending on personal preference and the size of the collection. Some uh, common methods include sorting by color, sorting by piece type, or using a combination of both. Here are some suggestions. By color. Group all Lego pieces of the same color together. This is a straightforward method and works well if you're looking for specific colors for your builds. I would say that this is best for smaller collections, where you don't fill more than one single bin with all the pieces you have in a certain color. Or in my case, I sort bricks by color, but not one by one since they are a bit too small for my preference. By piece type. Sorting Lego bricks by their specific piece types uh, like bricks, plates, tiles, slopes and so on. This can make it easier to find the exact piece you need when building. This is how I sort most of my collection. Lego have thousands of different types of pieces, so it's impossible to have a bin for each type. What I do is that I keep pieces I tend to use together or in similar builds in the same bins for easy access. By set. Keep Lego pieces from specific sets together. This is useful if you like to keep your sets intact and want to easily locate all the pieces for a particular build. A good way to do this is in transparent bags where you either write the set number on it or that you can have a piece of paper with the number on or maybe even the instructions in the bag. I don't use this system but I do think it's a very powerful one for long term storage or if you want to sell sets. By size. Sort Lego bricks by size, especially if you have a large collection. This can help you quickly find pieces based on their general dimensions. Here you can see that that's how I, for example, sort plates. I have larger plates here. These six stud wide plates are here and then four studs wide in this bin. Again, when I get so many pieces of one type that they can fill a bin of their own, that's when they're going to get their own bin. Combination. Use a combination of color and pieces type for a more detailed sorting system. For example, you might have separate containers for red bricks, blue bricks, white bricks, etc. And within each container you can further sort by piece type. And if you want me to sort more Lego, then make sure to donate via the thanks button. It really helps out with the, with the sorting. Special pieces. I prefer to keep my special pieces in separate bins. Here are animals. Here we have a plant life. And here we got different kind of knickknacks. And here we have a bunch of windows. Personally, I like to sort doors by themselves and then different types of windows by themselves. So that it's all nice and tidy. Wheels are sorted by modern wheels and vintage ones. I also keep a lot of pieces in these true fast half bins, which are smaller parts usually, or parts that I don't have a lot of, but still need easy access for. Minifigures. Sorting minifigure parts uh, follows some sort of logic, where we can have the head pieces and uh, hair pieces, hats and so on on the top and then followed by the heads themselves and some stuff they can have around their necks basically and then we come down to the torsos different sorts and of course lower body i also keep fully built minifigures in different drawers including mini dolls and star wars and uh, castle ones and vintage figures Storage solutions. Invest in storage containers, bins or drawers to keep your sorted Lego pieces organized. If you like to, you can label each container with a corresponding color or piece type to make it easy to find what you need. For most of my collection, I use the IKEA TrueFast system. I like that they are easy to access. They don't have lids that I need to open and close all the time. There are small channels in the bottom of the bins where dust collects, so they're easy to clean. 
My custom LEGO City sits on a couple of IKEA Malmö drawers, and in them I have bins where I sort smaller parts, but also parts I don't use that often. These bins are from my local supermarket. What's good is that I can pick them up and place wherever I'm standing and building. In the lower drawers I keep vehicles. Here I have my vintage vehicles. I don't keep them in bags or anything. This works quite well. In this other drawer I have more modern vehicles. In the closet. And then there's the closet where I keep a lot of sets more or less intact in larger bins. These do have lids since they are for long term storage. Basically sets that I don't have the display space for, but I don't want to take apart. The attic. I mean, why not keep a vintage LEGO city in your attic? It sparks joy. Bonus advice is to have a work area. I have this slab on top of my IKEA Trufast where I can stand and sort or build stuff. However, it tends to clutter here, so try to keep it clean as you go. In conclusion, the best sorting method depends on your personal preferences and how you like to build with LEGO. Experiment with different approaches to see what works best for you, and don't hesitate to adjust your system as your collection grows. With that said, stay out of the nonsense, stay awesome, and please subscribe.